It's Christmas morning for NFL fans. And hello, everybody. Chris Soriano here on the Soriano Network. And we have week one in the NFL season. And for those of you in your knockout pool, suicide pool, I'll tell you exactly who to look out for to pick in your knockout pool today. I picked the Pats on Thursday night. No way I thought they were losing opening night. All what happened in the offseason, the flake gate, Brady looking for vengeance, was this close to serving the first four games out on the sidelines of suspension. He's playing opening night. They're opening up with the banners for their Super Bowl win. I didn't think the, Pat, the Pats were going to lose. They didn't lose. It was a great pick for the knockout pool. If you didn't pick them, I don't know what you were looking at. It was a golden opportunity to get 1-0 in your knockout pool and take the Pats off the board because that defense does scare me. But... Uh, I picked them, so I don't got to worry about anything today except the Jet game. But I'll tell you who to look for in your knockout pool today. Let's start off with the Panthers and the Jaguars. Uh, you know, I think the Jacksonville Jaguars will be better this year. Panthers obviously lost a key wide receiver there. Uh, but again, they didn't lose Cam Newton. You know, and this goes on with Jordy Nelson also with the Packers losing him. Losing a wide receiver doesn't necessarily hurt you. If you lose your quarterback, that could be a problem. It could be a nightmare. But they still got Cam Newton. I think Newton is a little bit overrated, but a little bit underrated. I think he's a good average quarterback that can get the job done, especially against teams like this. Jacksonville, I think, will have a better year, but it won't start today. Give me the Panthers over the Jaguars. I wouldn't put that in the knockout pool. It's a road game for the Panthers. And it can happen in week one. But there's a maybe, but I'm not giving you that as a definite lock. Packers at the Bears. Well, you know what? We talked about it just before with Jordy Nelson. If the Packers would have lost Aaron Rodgers, they would have been in worse shape. They still got Rodgers under center. The Bears have Jay Cutler under center. And that's a problem. And five, six, seven win seasons, they're just going to keep piling up until the Bears go, you know what? Maybe we should get rid of this guy. I don't care what the salary cap hit is. We got to get rid of this guy. Rodgers, Cutler, you're kidding me if you're going any other way. I know it's a Chicago Bears home game, but give me the Packers, and that is a very, very good choice for your knockout pool if you want to start off 1-0. and Lions and Chargers, I love both quarterbacks here. Stafford, Rivers, I've always loved Rivers. His off-the-field annex kind of turn me off sometimes, but I do like Phil Rivers, the quarterback. I love San Diego. Give me the Chargers over the Lions in this one. I wouldn't put this as a knockout pick. But I do like the Chargers. It could go either way. If you like offense, you'll love this game. Stafford and Rivers. Dolphins at the Redskins. Is there any bigger joke in professional sports than the Redskins? I'll answer that for you. No. The question is no. They have three quarterbacks. RG3 is the third string quarterback. And all three quarterbacks don't put the fear of God in me at all. Dolphins, they've closed the gap on the pass a little bit. Tannehill, you expect big things from him. They made a couple of moves in the offseason. They got Sue. So I think the Dolphins will be a scary team. They can go 10-11 wins if they play their cards right. And I think they start off with a W today in Washington. Give me the Dolphins over the Redskins, and that is a very, very good choice. I'm telling you, lock that pick down for your knockout suicide pool. Bengals and Raiders. You know, everyone is always on the Bengals. They can't take that next step. They can't do it. You know what? I don't know if this year they're going to win 12, 13 games, but... I think they'll be a competitive team, and they'll be there at the end again. Uh, Oakland made some moves. I love the hire of Del Rio as, as coach, but they're not quite there yet. I'm sorry. I have to see a little bit from them before I start going on the Raiders bandwagon in terms of picking them on Sunday mornings. Give me the Bengals over the Raiders in that matchup. Ravens at Broncos. What does Peyton Manning do? He throws touchdowns, wins football games in the regular season, and he breaks records. That's what he does. There are some people out there also with the Baltimore Ravens saying that they could be a sleeper pick for the Super Bowl. I don't see that. I really don't. I like Flacco, but I don't like the Baltimore Ravens football team at all. It's a home game for the Broncos. Peyton is Peyton in the regular season. Give me the Broncos manning over Flacco in this one. The Chiefs at the Texans. I like the Chiefs a lot. They could be a team that could go to the AFC Championship game. I like them. Smith, they got a good little running game there. Reed knows what he's doing. They could be, watch out for the Kansas City Chiefs. And I'm taking the Chiefs today over the Texans, and that is a knockout pick. Take that. Kansas City over Houston. 
Sunday night game, we won't go in order. I'll, I'll just go whatever is on the sheet here. Giants at the Cowboys. Giants are without Beeson. They're without Cruz. They're without JPP. Cowboys didn't look good in the preseason. Giants didn't look good in the preseason. I know it's preseason, but both teams look pretty bad. Although the Cowboys didn't really play a lot of starters due to injury. Uh, I think the Cowboys are the better team. I don't think the Giants are there yet. You get Cruz and Beckham on the field at the same time. They are scary. Give me the Cowboys over this one on Sunday night. Seahawks, Rams. I'm not even going over a full analysis to this one. Seahawks, and that's a knockout pick. Browns at the Jets. You know, I'm wearing my Jet Green. A lot of people I know are picking the Jets today in the knockout pool. I wouldn't. I'm picking the Jets to win the game, but only because it's the Jets. You know, I, I really, Fitzpatrick, I'm more confident in the Geno. But if you're a long-standing Jet fan, don't, wouldn't you not be surprised if they just go out and lose 17-3 to today and Fitzpatrick throws two picks, one for a pick six, Cromartie gets torched. I mean, that, that would be Jets football. I'm picking the Jets to win, but I wouldn't go near the Jets in the knockout pool. But Jets over the Browns today. Colts and the Bills. Ooh, wow. You know, I like Andrew Luck. I really do. I like him. The Indianapolis Colts team as a whole, I don't like. I've never liked. I've never liked the Indianapolis Colts team. They have no line. On the O or the D, they got nothing going for them. Uh, the Bills start Tyrod Taylor. The Bills got that huge advantage, and that's Rex Ryan calling defensive plays. You know that he'll be calling them. Taylor versus Luck. You know, that, that's really difficult for me to go against them, but I'm going to go to the Bills in the upset. I'm going the Bills in the upset right here. Uh, I know you're probably saying, Serrano, you're crazy going Tyrod Taylor to outduel Andrew Luck, but Andrew Luck can't win this game by himself. And Tyrod Taylor is not terrible, plus he's got a pretty, pretty good defense to help him out and bail him out of trouble. Saints at Cardinals. Uh, you know what? The loss of Todd Bowles on defense as their coordinator is going to hurt. Saints got something to prove here. It's a big season for the Saints. I think this is a make-or-break season for the Saints. I don't know if they're going to fire Peyton, but if they don't make the playoffs and they have a 6-10, 7-9 year, he will be on the hot seat. Very, very hot. Give me the Saints over here. So this is a do-or-die year for the Saints. Titans at Bucks. We've seen this before. What was it? College football playoff last year. Rose Bowl. Titans at Bucks. Mariota at Winston. I think Winston's the better quarterback. I always did. Uh, Titans aren't there yet as a complete football team. Give me the Bucks over the Titans today. And those are your NFL picks week one in the NFL.